Hello stampers! Are you ready for a big bold design today? I have one for you and I'm using the Artistically Inked stamp set from Stampin' Up. This has some very creative stamps in it and they're just all beautiful. And then when you stamp them they come out like watercolor so it's, it's a really nice set to use. And I decided to do them big and bold but I wanted to layer the color especially in these flowers so I layered um, a few colors together. Um, layering pale papaya, calypso coral, and cherry cobbler. And I'm going to show you how to do that so that you can see each of the colors in the design. And I think that just gives it a much better uh, watercolor look. And um, But they're still very bright and vibrant. So let's get started on this. All the dimensions for the panels are down below this um, video. Just click show more. They're all listed down there along with all the links to the products that I'm using. And those links will take you directly to my online store where you can shop 24-7. So we're going to start with this by um, using a basic white panel that's 2.5 by 5.5. So it's quite narrow. And we're going to start with our lightest color in our flowers, which is pale papaya. And we have this big flower image here. It's gorgeous. And I kind of face it um, starting out. Um, there's a larger lump in the top of this, and that's where I'm going to start the top of my flower. And you're going to see why I distinguish that um, when we make our design here. So I'm going to stamp this pretty close to the top and a little bit off to the side. So there's our first one. Got a pretty color, that pale papaya. It's really gorgeous. And I'll stamp another one right here next to it. So there is our pale papaya. And then we're going to go a little darker and go to Calypso Coral here. another beautiful color. Now make sure your ink pads are well inked up when you're doing this. Um, now we have our two lumps at the top. I'm going to move these a quarter over so I just moved it from just one quarter and that's how I'm going to stamp it this time around. And that won't, just so it doesn't cover up all of that papaya we put on. There we go. And next we'll go to Cherry Cobbler. Cherry Cobbler's always been one of my favorites. Now we have our um, stamp facing this way. We're going to go one turn more. And by turning that stamp, you're going to get all those colors in there. Isn't that pretty? I think those um, lighter, orangier colors bring life to that flower. So now I want to stamp. There's like the swirly stamp. And I'm going to use that for the center of our flowers. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black for this. And I'm just stamping it in the center as so you would think I would. Okay. So there's the center of our flowers and we're going to go back here to Cherry Cobbler and use the tip of our branding brush like this area here. And I'm going to darken the center of this flowers. I wanted them really saturated with that cherry cobbler in the center. So there are, is that. Okay, now it's leaf time. I have two different leaves here. 
when it, when, there's a single leaf and then a double leaf and we're going to use garden green for this. I think the garden green just pops with these leaves. So I'm going to put a leaf down here at the bottom. I'm going to add the double leaf here at the side a bit. And I'm going to use a single leaf up here at the top. There. Okay, so we got that done. And now I'm going to continue with this garden green, but I have, I put some reanchor in mine pad here, the lid, inside the lid. And I'm going to use a water painter here. And if you squeeze the barrel, the water comes out and you can like make this a little lighter. A little more watery, more inky like. So that's what I did and I'm picking it up and you can also use a marker for this part of the project but I like the way it flows um, when you add stems with this. So I'm going to come down to this other flower and then continue down here. To make my first stem. And then I'm going to bring a stem off of this flower here and come down, that, I mean that leaf. We want stems down here on this one. And then we need a nice thick stem for this flower here. So there is that part. And then I'm just going to clean my brush off by squeezing the water out of it and put it on the paper till it runs clear. Now it's all ready for my next project. Okay, so there is that part. Now I'm gonna take a black marker, dark basic black stamp and blend marker, and I'm using the brush end of this, and I'm just gonna go down the left side of each of these little stems here. And now I'm going to do the left side of the leaves also. just to bring in some of that black and to give it like a shadow. I almost forgot this part of our little stem. There we go. And now I want some black dots, so I'm gonna bring my, my Memento Tuxedo Black ink here and add some dots to this project. Dots always add a bit of whimsy, I think, to your project, and um, so it's not so stiff looking. So there's the little dots, and that completes our main panel. We're going to set that aside for a moment. And I'm bringing just a scrap of basic white ink here. I mean, <laughs> bringing a scrap of basic white cardstock out. And we're going to use Memento Tuxedo Black to stamp our sentiment on this scrap here. And we'll just add this to the bottom of this scrap. I like to hold my stamps down for a few seconds. You get a much crisper look to your stamp, especially with um, writing. It really helps. Just gonna cut some of this excess off. Now I'm gonna cut around this image here. And I'm leaving just a bit of white around it. And I'm not getting too detailed with my cutting. I'm 
you don't have to go down into all the nooks and crannies. It doesn't have to be perfectly same spacing all the way around them either. Just as long as you leave some white around the edge all the way around. This is a cute way just to do sentiments, especially with these um, thicker writing sentiments. It's a little harder when they're real thin or small. There we go. Just that quick, I have my sentiment all ready to put on my panel. So now I'm going to start putting this together. And I'm going to switch my paper around here. So I don't have any of that on my cardstock since we're going all white here. Which is very dramatic when you have those big, bold flowers and then you put it on white. Um, I have a white card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, and I fold it in half for my quarter card. And inside, I put a cherry cobbler panel that is four by five point two five, and then a basic white panel that is three and three quarters by five. So there's my card base in the inside. I embossed this panel using the Parisian Flourish 3D embossing folder, and this is just a beautiful folder. And I use the um, new Stampin' Cut emboss machine and emboss this panel that is 4.25 by 5.5 and then I'm putting a piece of ribbon on and this ribbon is the Evening Evergreen window pane check ribbon. So I'm going to add a piece and I put it up fairly towards the top, probably about an inch from the top here. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to just put a mini glue dot on each side just to tack that into the ribbon down to the back of the panel. I found that one, one dot does the, does the job really well. So there is our ribbon on the front. Now we can add this to the front of our cardstock. And I'm just going to use my multi-purpose glue for this. And I'm going right over that ribbon that helps hold that in place. And I think I'll just add some love inside with a nice heart. Okay. So we're going to line this up. So there is that. And then we're going to put this panel on here and we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals for this. Okay, by the magic of video I have the, my Stampin' Dimensionals all on this panel here. And I've taken the backs off. I like to use lots of dimensionals. They're cheap. And um, I think they work better when you have quite a few on. Really pops things up. And I'm going to add this. I'm not going to center this. I'm going to have it a little over to the right. There we go. I wanted room for my um, bow over here on the side and my sentiment. So now I'm going to pop my sentiment up. I'm going to use a little bit of the side of my dimensional sheet. I'm just going to cut into that and then you get these little strips. So you can use these little strips to put on. There we go. And I'm going to just add it to... It'll be the left, left side of the back. I'm going to add just a little more here. The reason being we have this popped up panel on here and so I'm going to add just glue on 
the right side of this. Behind the N, the K, and the S. And then I'm going to add this to my card here. And with just the adhesive on this side and the dimensionals on this side, it lays flat instead of sticking up on one side. So that's how you do that and still have it lay nicely on your card. So there is that. So we have our sentiment on. Now we need another piece of ribbon for our bow. I just love those big bold flowers. <laughs> they just make me happy today. So now I'm going to add my bow and I want it up against my panel. There we go. Fuss around with it a little bit. There we have it. So there is our finished card. Here's the one I made it earlier. They're just beautiful. So if you want to send somebody a nice bold card, here you have it. I hope you enjoyed this project and that you give it a try. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.